you guys uh, see something in my rack that uh, isn't normal here? That's a UDM Pro sitting in my rack that was given to me. And I thought to myself, I hate these devices. But now, on the way, I've actually ordered myself a Cloud Gateway Ultra that just came out the other day. Does that mean that I'm going to like Unify? Yes, it does. I've been running this for about a month and I really, really, really like it. The new OS or um, configuration that they have now works really nice. I like it a lot. This one's got a four terabyte hard drive that I put in there. So I think I might accidentally order a few cameras too to play with. And then I might accidentally order some more gear, like some access points, maybe a better one, a new switch. This is a really old switch that I'm borrowing from work that I've been using. It works great. It's older. It's just a 250 watt, one gigabit PoE switch. Nothing special at all. But the newer ones have 10 gig SFP on this end. And the U this UDM Pro has two 10 gig SFP plus ports. So I'll be able to run some 10 gig stuff. But I also messaged Cody the other day and I said, you know, I'm gonna probably have to buy myself a link aggregate switch too because it has eight SFP plus ports. And in my network down below here, all my grand stream stuff, um, I have a 12 port plus uh, three 48 port switches all with 10 gig networking. And my plan is to compare the two, which I've been doing. And there's some cool features that I really, really like. Number one, VPN on both of these, easy. I can scan a QR code with WireGuard and it works easy. I pick up my phone, scan the QR code, boom, it works. I really like that. I like the fact that they both have a network map. I'll put a screenshot in the video here where I can see what's currently connected to the network, where things are connected to, what they're connected as. And if I'm not mistaken, the Unify allows me to see the traffic going in and out. I can't remember if I saw that in here or not. I'm still playing with it, getting used to it because remember, I hated these devices, but now I like it. So there's gonna be a lot more content coming out. I'm hoping to do some stuff on my um, Ultra when it comes in and take this out and see how well the Ultra does compared to this. And I think I also have an Express coming from a YouTube member that follows me. Wink, wink. Not to mention anybody. And that should be fun. So in the next while, you're going to see me playing with Unify and Grandstream. And uh, yeah. But in this rack right here, I have this 24-port PoE switch, the UDM uh, Pro. And above, up here, you can't see it because it's just up in my, uh, I got a piece of wood that I mount access points to and all that kind of stuff for testing. I think I got a, I got a grand stream one that I took off cause I was playing with. And then I have a, up here is a Ulta Labs one I've been playing with. Um, I threw out all my ingenious stuff cause uh, they suck. I've been playing with it a lot. I really like it. So you're going to probably see more uh, content coming from me here. Uh, Unify? Pretty cool. And uh, if you have any questions, mm, probably you can ask me. I don't know if I'll be able to answer them because I'm still new to it. And uh, I'll learn more. If you want me to do anything that maybe Cody doesn't do, because Cody's the one that got me into this, because I kept saying I don't like Unify. And then once I said, I have one of these, he said, try it, play with it. Pretty sweet. Oh, and one other thing I like about this compared to some other routers, I can clone the Mac address on here. And I have to do that with my ISP because if I phone them, I'm on the phone forever to change a Mac address and they usually screw it up. So I have a Mac address that I moved around from device to device that allowed me to do this. I like that feature.
So whoever else later in the future makes a firewall and you don't have that in there, people might get mad. Like and subscribe, I think. And uh, unify. Cool. And it's in my lab. Even cooler. See ya.